I'm Larry Aglisano reporting for Aviation Consumer, and as the industry patiently waits for Bendix King to update its iconic KX-155 series of NAVCOMs, Garmin has just introduced their second generation NAVCOM, the GNC-255A. And while the GNC-255 may borrow technology from other products in the Garmin line, we think it represents the most modern NAVCOM technology we've seen to date. Let's power one up and see what it looks like. If you think the new GNC series NAVCOM looks a lot like Garmin's 300 series transponder, well, you'd be right. It has similar buttons, stands 1.65 inches high, and uses a similar but improved LCD display with a better backlighting system. Internally, the nav and comm boards come from Garmin's GTN series navigators, while the comm radio has got 8.33 kHz spacing. That's required for the new European proposed mandate. In Garmin tradition, the unit has good ergonomics and high-quality buttons and knobs. We particularly like the nifty comm and volume adjustments. The unit is far from a traditional NAVCOM. It has a built-in database for looking up frequencies by facility name and type. When receiving GPS information from a remote GPS, you can find nearest airports, flight service stations, and weather frequencies. It also has reverse lookup of nearby stations based on current GPS position. Other smart features include frequency transfer from Garmin portable GPS units, a monitor mode which allows you to listen to the standby frequency while monitoring the active and quickly switching over to the active frequency when the squelch opens. It also has a built-in two-place intercom. The unit has a front panel micro USB port. That's for updating the internal database and for performing software updates. The unit accepts 14 or 28 volts of input voltage, has durable connectors, and a cooling fan that's built into the rear chassis. Now this GNC 255 is available in a COM only version, that's a GTR 225. It's available in either 10 watt or 16 watt COM transmitter, has a list price in 1995. The GNC 255A has got a list price of 44.95. For more information on a new line of Garmin NAVCOMs, you can read the February 2013 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.